They're calling and confirming voters who have pledged their support to make sure they dropped off their ballots and submitted their votes. Some volunteers, including Luz Escamilla, are also out canvassing Salt Lake City and doing some door knocking to help secure the vote. Now, there's still time. There's still some undecided voters out there, so volunteers are putting in their last ditch efforts as to why they feel Luz Escamilla is the right one to vote for. We're just excited. This is a grassroots campaign from day one. Really just bring a message of a vision of Salt Lake City that's sustainable and a Salt Lake City that's uh, for everyone. And voters have until 8 o'clock tonight to make their voices heard. Also starting at 8 o'clock, a party kicking off here at 8 for the Escamilla campaign. All supporters are welcome. For now, reporting live in Salt Lake City, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. All right, thank you very much, Brittany. We turn now to ABC4's Rosie the Wind. Rosie, you were out tracking the Mendenhall campaign throughout the day today as they made that one final push heading into the final hours. So how is Mendenhall's campaign feeling tonight? Glenn, we're here at Public Coffee Roasters where Eric Mendenhall and her campaign team are getting ready for their watch party tonight. Now, she told me yesterday that she's been fighting bronchitis, but today she's feeling a lot better. She's spending the final hours of Election Day knocking on doors and talking to as many residents as possible, encouraging them to vote. Although campaigning is not something new for her after spending six years on city council, she says running for mayor has been a lot of work, but she feels ready for it. One of the issues she says she's really passionate about is air quality, and her focus has been to talk to as many constituents as possible and listen to their concerns. That sometimes meant 15-hour days on the campaign trail. I feel great. My spirits are high. I feel like we've run the best possible campaign we knew how to. I put everything out there. My heart is in this, and so no matter what happens, I feel great. I'm so glad that we've done this, and it's been a great race. Now back here at Public Coffee Roasters, you can see Eric Mendenhall and her campaign team getting ready for that watch party tonight. Their event is expected to start at 7 p.m. Glenn, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Rosie.